Imagine a young couple having their first baby and then discovering he has a potentially fatal disorder. If they have another child, there is a 50-50 chance that child will also be sick. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez reports genetic testing helped them give birth to a healthy baby and also help for their sick sibling. Meet almost three-year-old Luke Caluzzi, an active, happy, and apparently very normal young guy with very cool hair. You'd never know that a couple of years ago, he nearly died after a hayride and pumpkin-picking excursion. His lungs were being attacked, his stomach was being attacked, his liver, every organ in his body was being attacked by, by the fungus. Turns out Luke couldn't fight a fungal infection from the hay and farm fields because he has... Genetic mutation of, in, in his immune system that... Um, uh, crippled his ability to fight against infection. The Caluzis wanted another child, but mom was the carrier of the genetic mutation that afflicted Luke. The only way to um, have a, a baby that was unaffected would be to make sure and have it tested. If not, we would have a 50-50 chance of having a baby, another baby with CGD. That testing is a highly sophisticated genetic screening that's done on embryos created through in vitro fertilization. Technicians at Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey wait for embryos to grow to about 200 cells and then take just one cell from the part of the embryo that is not destined to become a baby. And then when we, we do a very detailed analysis and it tells us this embryo would make a healthy baby or it would not. Then only a healthy embryo is transferred into the mother to achieve a pregnancy. And here's the result, five-month-old Amazing Grace. She's happy and active and, most importantly, does not have mutation. And even better, the same genetic testing that assured that Grace would be healthy is also able to check if she would be a match for Luke, who needs a bone marrow transplant to cure his CGD. She is there to help our family. Um, we didn't have her for that purpose, but she came with that, and she's a little light that came and gave us all hope. Again, just to be clear, the Caluzis did not have Grace to be a donor for her brother. The genetic testing assured them they wouldn't have, she wouldn't have, the lethal immune disorder her brother Luke has. It was an added benefit that allowed doctors to also check for a tissue match. They can also check for Downs, Turner syndrome, and a number of other genetic problems. So Luke right now is holding his own, but sometime next year he will need the bone marrow transplant and... Hopefully that'll cure him, and then they'll have two healthy babies. You bet. We wish them the best. Yeah, absolutely. We Thank do. you, Doc. Thank you, Dr. Max.